the Huawei Mate S is a really beautiful phone, slim, good looking, great features, uh, but it's not the cheapest one, let's call it like that. And now with the final product here and I want to show you the game check with Game Bench because in that tool you can see for example Asphalt 8 and Dead Rigger 2 how it's running live. And here you see in the upper left corner the a uh, real drawn, actually drawn at the moment, drawn frames per second rate. So, but don't judge my driving, please, because first of all, it's not a game uh, presentation, a let's game or whatever. Just wanted to show you how fluidly uh, it's running. And you see here in the upper left corner, and I can tell you at, in advance, I've done some uh, games in advance and you will have on Asphalt 8 an average frames per second here of 18. That's not a lot. You have a high stability. That's okay. 98% is great, but... For example, with the uh, Galaxy S6, uh, you will get um, uh, 30 frames per second here on that here on that Asphalt 8. So uh, 30 frames per second, that's okay. Even on a mobile device, very okay, but 18 is a little bit less. Um, and you will see, um, just let me start another one that you have seen a little bit more than these few seconds here. So here we go in Tokyo and let me go like that. Um, so you see, it's okay. And here we go down to 14, for example. So that's not the best appearance. And especially for that price, I would have had expected a little bit more. The problem is you have a mid-class uh, octa-core processor only. Octa-core sounds great, especially if you hear the um, gigahertz clock rates bye bye uh, at four cores at 2.2 gigahertz and for the other cores at 1.5 gigahertz sounds okay three gigabyte of ram so you expect way more especially for that price but um as you have detected in the details it's just all eight cores it's called cortex a43 meaning um, that's not that power consumption, so meaning you have some uh, cores that um, save the power, but are not that extremely high powerful like you might expect, for example. And that's what you see here in the, the results. That's why we have 18 frames per second in, ad, in average only on Asphalt 8. I hope you have seen enough of that game, so I'm stopping that, showing you um, the specifications, the statistics here. You see, in that session we just had 16 frames per second only um, and stability only 52%. As I told you, I have done several uh, runs and different um, situations. So you see here, you have some cores here, some at uh, 20 6, 26, 7 frames per second, but most are around here. That's not that good a um, um, result. You see, the processor is not the problem, it's the GPU. You cannot um, have that measured value here because the Mali um, GPU is not um, processed at the moment by, J uh, by GameBench, but that shall come. Uh, so, But I know these kind of figures looking the same from other features, so I can tell you the GPU is definitely at around 99, 100%. That's why you have that very low frame rate while the CPU is uh, yeah, kind of almost in idle. So that's uh, very typical. And yeah, well, it, it's the uh, Kirin 935 seems to be not the yeah best high power um, uh, processor. Maybe you will have great run times. I will do a testing of that too, of course. But for the moment, just uh, looking at the uh, processor, um, yeah, it's it's really more mid-class and for that price a little bit disappointing in my opinion. And as you can see here, in that trigger too you have a total different result here in the upper left corner almost uh, during the whole game at least 50, oh okay, <laughs> 32, okay at least 32 frames per second but you will have an average um, 
of 53 frames per second in that trigger too. And that's good, especially because the stability I've shown you before is at 83%. That's quite okay. It's not the best one, but okay, you can live with that. So if all games would perform like that, for example, Asphalt 8, I guess we would be all very happy. So um, result is, it depends extremely on the play your gaming, I guess it depends on how good it's programmed and how much it's optimized on uh, the processor, the Kirin 935 and its drivers, of course. So it depends much on the game, you will see. So it's, I know, a, a little bit frustrating result. I can tell you this is good or bad or mid-class. So, But you now at least know that it's kind of, uh, depending on the game, you can have luck and you can have not. So let's go at least just for a quick, oh, that was a little bit too short. For another one here in Dead Trigger 2, this one was one of um, 39 frames per second here. Um, yeah, this is 43, the one I told you, uh, and you see here CPU 12% only, so that's the GPU being at the top, I guess. Yeah, I hope I could help you a little bit for your decision if you're a gamer and interested in fluid gaming, even on your smartphone. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye.